Hey there folks, how's it going? Sandro here from socialwoodworks.com. Today I'm going to talk about my solar power generator. Uh, this video isn't really uh, to show you guys exactly how I made mine. I'm going to go over loosely how I made mine, but I'm just making this video uh, as a basic guideline and general rules on what you need to put in a solar generator if you want to make one for yourself. And I got links in the description um, with uh, all the components that I use. So hopefully this video will, will help you figure out an idea uh, for yourself and maybe you can make a solar generator for yourself as well. Stay tuned and we'll get into the video. All right, guys, so this is uh, my solar power generator. Uh, it's not that pretty. Um, I don't even have a lid for it right now. Basically, it's just a wooden box that houses all the components uh, that I used. And uh, I'm just going to go through and kind of point out here um, what I have done to mine. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit more in detail of each component and how it works. So up here on top, this is my uh, controller. It's a 30 amp uh, solar charge controller. Uh, sorry, 20 amp solar uh, solar charge controller. The only thing with this one that I saw in the reviews was to make sure that you install your battery before you hook anything else up. If you hook your solar panel up and it's uh, in the sun and producing power, you're gonna fry your controller. So you wanna make sure you hook your batteries up first, then your solar panel, and you're good to go. Uh, next here I have just these sort of speaker terminals that I uh, installed and this is for a uh, float charger just like a uh, I have that here so I can charge it if I don't have any sun you can plug this into the wall and this also acts as a 12 volt output as well so this will see whatever voltage the battery packs out on this terminal here is where I plug in my solar panel um, same thing it just has the banana plugs here uh, you'll see a 120 VAC out and that's basically just an inverter, a 375 watt inverter that I have behind this um, panel here and I wired up these uh, two outlets and a switch to control that. These switches here turn the batteries on and off. Both batteries one and two are off right now. And down below at the bottom I have the 
DC voltage power center. So here is just a cigarette lighter, 12 volt DC out. And here I have my five volt DC outputs for charging, you know, cell phones, tablets, and whatever else requires five volts. The top one here is five volts at one amp. Bottom one's five volts at 2.1 amps. And then in the middle here is just a voltage meter that reads the DC voltage of the batteries. Um, on either side here, I have a 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery. They're wired in parallel. So I have 24 amp hours total capacity. And then in each corner of my cabinet that I made is sort of just storage. I have another 300 watt inverter that I can plug into the cigarette lighter here. I just have an extension cord there. I have some various uh, cables here. Um, USB cables and whatnot down here as I, as I stated before I have my trickle charger so that's uh, that's basically what I have in my cabinet um, let's go ahead and switch it on there's battery one let's see if I can zoom in here so there's the uh, amperage of battery one there I pretty much charge them both both on at the same time in parallel. So they're both uh, holding about 13 volts DC. And then here you could switch on your inverter if you wanted to uh, plug in some sort of small uh, device that you, requires AC. It's only a 375 watt inverter, so it's not too powerful. I wouldn't plug in a hair dryer or anything like that. It would, it would just trip it. Alright guys, apologize for the abrupt stop there, but this video was getting a little long. I decided to uh, turn this into a two-part video, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and stay tuned for video number two, uh, where I go into talking about the solar panel itself. I open up the uh, front panel of this thing and I show you how I wired everything up and also talk about the uh, wiring in detail uh, with a wiring schematic. Um, so thanks for watching this video. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, and we'll see you on video two. Take care.